Servus, grüß euch, mein Name ist Pablo Picanto and welcome back to The, the Impossible, Impossible Quest. Let's have a look at the final chapter of The Impossible Quest. We played The Danger Dungeon and The Global Adventure and now it's time for The Impossible Quest in space. Ooh, God. All right. There we go. You found yourself in a futuristic looking room. Oh, there are colored lights around you, a lot of weird devices and so on. There is a door in front of you and a computer on your right. <clears throat> Work on the computer, talk to the computer, go through the door. It's futuristic so I could talk to the computer. What do you want to ask? Where am I? You're on a ship called Normandy. Oh. Now we are in the Lux Luxturic system. Well, I thought so. I didn't actually. Who are you and where did you ca it came from? I'm the examiner. I'm a tourist. I'm... I'm a potato. This is not a place for you. Perhaps I should call the guards. Whatever. Be resentfully silent. Or snitch. Uh, be silent? Through the door came three guards. They pointed weapons at you and one of them asked, Who are you? I'm Darth Vader from the planet Vulcan. I'm your mother's lover. That's a good idea. I am your new prisoner. That's a good idea. We should fire that. Guard fired the weapons and made many nice little holes in your body. Alright, that is ending number one. Became a meaty Swiss cheese. Happens. Alright. So. Uh, <clears throat> let's try to work on the computer. The computer does not have a keyboard. Okay. Or any buttons. That is a pity. I know you how much you like pressing things. Definitely. So we have to press random spots. I could do that too. Press random spots. Use the stop poking me. Use the voice interface. Told you the computer with a pleasant female voice. Continue. Pr Let's try talking. Smash it like a savage. I continue pressing. Use the stop. Otherwise, I will call the guards. Okay. The guards will come. I'll apologize. It is okay. No hard feelings. Maybe you want to ask something. Who are you? My name is Edie. I am the onboard computer. But who are you and how you got here? I'm the examiner. Not sure. Tourist. Hmm, let's go with the examiner. Ah, so you are the examiner? Why did not you... S why did not you said it before? I will call the captain. Just wait a little bit. Wait, <laughs> wait a little bit. Wait a medium bit. Wait the biggest bit. I'm gonna wait a medium bit. <laughs> the door opened and before you appeared a blonde woman. I am Commander Shepard and this is my ship. Ah, so we're going... Ah, uh, what's the name of the game? I know it, everyone knows it. But I forgot it. Mass Effect, of course. Sure. Show me the ship. <clears throat> I'm here to inspect the ship. Kragel de Cruz Mother. Yep. Hmm, you probably came from far away. Your language sounds very foreign. Please wait for our computer to turn on the translator. Oh shit. Inge borga dab kunaite, kla tu barada nikto, nanu nanu. Gotta go for Inge borga. Okay, now it should work. Try to say something. Uh huh. I'm ready to inspect the ship. Kuri kuri manapuri. Deception. Kuri kuri manapuri. Idi, why the why the translator is not working? Said the captain. Commander, this language is not in the database. Responded the computer. Keep talking gibberish. Commander, I use all the power to determine the language. The system is on the verge of overload. <laughs> um, I guess I could say anything this year. The system is overloaded. Now everything is going to explode loudly. 
loudly said the computer. Everything started to shake and spark. Problem? Look at the captain's smile. Say something meaningless one last time. You laughed out loud as the ship exploded. Then the laughter stopped because in space no one can hear you laugh. Also because you died. Trolled a spaceship to death. <laughs> On which unfortunately was you. Hey, um, Alright. Uh, let's talk to the computer one more time. Where are... Nah, where am I? We asked already. Damn it, um... And who am I speaking with? I am... Um, Tourist this time, this is not a place for you. Ah, damn it. Snitch. Through the door came, damn it. I am Darth Vader. Damn it. Guards, fire at Darth Vader. Okay. Uh, where am I? Who am I speaking with? I'm a tourist. The guards came. I am your new prisoner. The guards came for you and took you in a prison cell. Your cellmate is a gorgeous blonde in a red dress. Well, hello, miss. I am in love. How you doing? Well, hello! Hey, do you want to escape? She told. Of course. You are saying that you have a plan? Your voice is very similar to the voice of Edie. Is it? What? Whatever. You want to escape or what? Of course. You are saying that you have a plan? You need to distract the guard. Guar. <laughs> I do the rest. Okay. Whistle to the... I'm gonna shout at the Guar. Prisoner, what happened? Guar clearly is unhappy that you bothering him. I need to go to the bathroom. When is dinner? I'm bored. While you were chatting with him, you noticed that the beautiful stranger was gone. Hey, my cellmate is gone. Chief, my neighbor disappeared. Give me my cellmate back. I don't want to... 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 give that to his attention. Uh... Hey, my cellmate is gone. What do you mean? You were here alone the whole time. Oh, shit. What? Psh, I know that. Just kidding. There was a girl in a red dress. I know that. The girl went away from you. You want to think about what happened. <laughs> Meditate, think, or go crazy. These options, man. Uh, okay, let's think then. Still don't un do not understand. Well, think more. Think more, go crazy. Oh god. I think I'm gonna go crazy. Think more. Still nothing, keep thinking. Epiphanies close. Shit. Go crazy then. Hey, you are not crazy. I really was there. Tried to explain to you. Reappeared blonde, but it was too late. You already was completely crazy. Now, why a raven is like a writing desk? Hey, uh, yeah. Sure, sure, I'm gonna recreate that. Miss I'm love, do you want to escape? Okay, you have a plan. I'm gonna call the guard. What happened? When is dinner? While you were chatting, okay, ba 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 ba. Uh, what do you mean? You were alone, but there was a girl. Okay, we're gonna meditate this time. Hmm, damn it. Okay, same ending. Well then, uh, let's not go computer. Sh okay, let's 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 go computer shit. Who am I speaking with? I'm gonna put nah, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, <laughs> again, talk to the computer. Where am I? Who am I speaking to? I'm the examiner. Let's go. That. Let's wait a little bit, and let's let Commander Shepard show us the ship. Okay, you have seen the computer room. And even met Edie. Come on. We are uh, here we have a weaponry and this is Garus Vakarian, a mem a crew member. Ask for a weapon, ask to calibrate something. Greetings. Greetings, come on. Now we are at the cargo bay. I want to introduce you to Ordnat Rex. Shepard said, pointing at the ugly but cute monster. Ask Shepard to greet him. Okay, let's go further. Greet him and move on. Why would I why would I not greet him myself? Ask Shepard to greet him. Okay. Rex Shepard said. Shepard Rex replied. 
Wait, I'm satisfied. We should go. This is engineering room. Here is the mass effect generator. So, by the way, from where did you came to us with a check? From the top? Interstellar ship inspection? Hmm? Interstellar ship inspection? What? Show your ID. Admit the truth. Take captain's weapon and shoot at the generator. Somehow you managed to get a weapon from the captain and shot the generator. There was a nice explosion with multicolored flames and cool sound effects. Everybody on the ship died. Blew up with an entire ship of people just because you did not want it to admit the truth. Shit happens. Okay, let's go through the door at the start now. Before you appeared guards. Oh, damn it. Oh, it's the guards. Okay. Mm, how are you doing? Of course, you need to distract the guard. Is there... I'm gonna whistle at the guard, because now when, when it's dinner, I'm bored. I need to go to the bathroom. He's not gonna let me out. Give me my cellmate back. What do you mean? You were here alone? Pfft, I know that. Then go crazy. When I'm in the cell, it's over. Uh, I'm gonna talk to the computer then. Again, where am I? Well, I thought so. I'm the examiner. Wait a medium bit. The door opened and before you appeared. Commander Shepard. I'm here to inspect the ship. Okay, you have seen. Uh, Asked to calibrate something. Calibrate what? Where? Wait, do not tell. I will find it myself. Garo sprang like a maniac and ran somewhere. Shepard, he needs help. Take a weapon. Shepard, lead me on. Shepard, he needs help. Yes, he needs help. Or he will calibrate everything on the ship. Oh, no. Last time, we barely washed all off after him. What does he understand? Under calibrate. Take a weapon, take a weapon, take a weapon. You know you want it. Okay. You took the biggest blaster in the armory and, like a fool, accidentally shot it in a wall. You got sucked into the space and passed out. I'm not dead. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you, I don't see how that helps me. Hush, little baby, you were woken up by a gorgeous man in a blue suit, a raincoat and with a cool haircut. Hi, I caught you in open space. You're very lucky, he said. I'm not so sure. Thank you for saving me. Thanks, I guess I express my deepest gratitude to you. You're welcome. That is my hobby, to save people. Who are you, beautiful stranger? Silently admire him. <laughs> Where am I? Let's keep the conversation going. I am the doctor and this TARDIS is my ship. On it, I can move anywhere in space and time. Give me a ride. Can I come with you? I want to take a walk around the ship. Why? Around the ship. Okay. Well, okay. Just do not get lost. Go walk or wander. Walk. For an hour, you wandered through the endless corridors of the ship. You saw a pool in the library, a bunch of bedrooms, something similar to the engineering room and much more. Get lost, get lost. No, I don't want to get lost. You knew it was going to happen. Do not interrupt the story. Ha! Ah, get lost. You hear the doctor's voice in the speakers. Hey, you got lost? Yep, maybe not on purpose. Yep. It is alright. I will show you instructions on how to get back on the nearest screen. But the computer is glitchy recently, so better hurry up, hurry to remember them. Okay. Hurry, I want to go to the bathroom. A mess. What? What? <laughs> Fuck! That was there really short. I wasn't ready for that. I'm gonna see past. Which one now? B. Okay, which one now? A. Uh, C. B. C. Days pass, but you have not found a way out. But found your death from starvation. Damn it! Died of starvation. At least it was the best. Sh the on the best ship in the universe. Okay. Okay. One more try. 
Wait, I'm the examiner? Yes. Wait a medium bit. I'm here to inspect the ship. Ask to calibrate something. Shepard needs help. Take a weapon. That's a little bit. Okay, thanks for saving me. Who are you, beautiful stranger? I'm the doctor, and this turret is my ship. On it, I can uh, move anywhere. Give me a ride. Okay, where do we want to go? To a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. To the future, of course. I changed my mind. I want to. Nope. Let's go to a long time ago, then. Hold on to something, Doctor shouted and pulled the lever. The ship shuddered and began to make strange sounds. However, it lasted not for long. Here we are, he said. Exit the ship, head for the exit. You know, I changed my mind. I want to go through. Uh, let's go for the exit. Before I use a bar, I see a bar. I got to the bar. You thought. Inside is playing music, uh, playing a cheerful music. There are many ugly aliens around. You and Doctor sat at an empty table. Order beer, order an alien beer, order something with alcohol. Order a uh, beer. After a while, an old man in a robe and a young blonde guy came to you. We need to get to the Alderaan system. We'll, uh, we'll pay generously, said the old man. Okay, let's go. No, we are busy. We are drinking. Doctor, let's help them. We should help them. The old man and the boy boarded the ship. You successfully flew to the orbit of Alderaan and saw a large gray sphere nearby the planet. It looks ominous. Doc, look! I do not like that thing. I have a bad feeling. Doc, look. Scanners show that they are charging a weapon. Oh shit! The doctor shouted and pointed some blue and. Uh, blue wand at the direction of the sphere. Done. I turn it off. Wow, nice job. That was easy. You dropped the guy and the old man on the planet. They thanked you and went away. I do not like this station. I should protect people from it, said the doctor. This is that is a good idea. Blow it up. Send it to the sun. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. No, why not? Violence is not an option. That ah, damn it. I have a different plan. What is it? But I want to blow it up. I analyzed the station and its weapon and figured out the type of energy energy energionic matrix they use. And doctor said. To you many obscure words. What? Just watch. The doctor once again directed his wand in the direction of the station, held it for a couple of seconds and said, done. <clears throat> done what? What have you done? I totally understand what you just did. I reconfigured the gun. Now instead of destroying planets, it enhances the growth of organics. It creates life. This station was called, called the Death Star. And now it is the life star. Oh, nice way to turn it around, guy. What I want, but I wanted to blow it up. Wow! <laughs> you and the doctor for a long time traveled through the galaxy and shot at lifeless planets with the life star, and it was wonderful. Nice. What a nice ending. Okay. And now let's let's tr uh, try. What will happen uh, if we go to the future this time? Alon Z. Doctor said and pulled the lever. Everything shook and thundered, but quickly stopped. The future right outside the door. Go out. You came out of the ship and found yourself in front of a large window behind which you can see stars. But then a dude with cool eyebrows aimed a gun at you. Who are you? He said. None of your business. Call the doctor. Who wants to know? I am Commander Spock, ah, scientific advisor of the Starship Enterprise. You invaded our ship. Identify yourself immediately or I will shoot you. Whatever, shoot. I'm invulnerable. You weapon is useless. Doc, I need help. Doctor came out and showed a piece of paper on to the dude. Oh, so you are ambassadors from Li Xuan. Why did uh, did not you said it before? What's with the grammar sometimes? I will take you to the captain. The dude said, removing his gun. We are ambassadors? Yeah, we are ambassadors. It is, it is all right. People point a gun at me all the time. Captain Kirk, I want you to meet Li Xuan's ambassadors. 
<coughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Did not catch your names. The doctor replied, I'm the doctor, and this is, uh, Cook Poo. His Majesty the Emperor Tsar King Ivan I the Terrible. Doesn't matter, she's ambassador. Cook Poo. So, gentlemen, we will solve the problem of the invasion on your planet with negotiations or with military action. The captain told him. Uncomprehendingly look at the doctor. Let there be war. We hope to settle everything peacefully. Let's go for the doctor. The doctor is clearly puzzled too. He looks at you like he has no idea what is going on here. Let there be war. We hope to settle everything peacefully. Blow up the invaders. I mean... I want to blow up ship all the time, so... With being character, do not listen to my friend. We do not want war. We want peace, Doctor said. Looking accusingly on it. But I want to blow them up. Well, that is good news. Representatives of the invaders will arrive soon. You and the doctor will lead to a room with a large table. Doc, what are we doing? What is going on? I do not know what is going on and I'm scared. They think we are ambassadors. We should keep pretending, otherwise we will get arrested or something. Let's play ambassadors. It will be fun, the doctor said with a smile. Well then, play the role. Four monster-looking guys went into the room and sat down in front of you. The captain greeted them and said, Well, gentlemen, I hope these ne nego negotiations will end successfully. Like, I can talk with those monsters. I hope so, too. It will be more my it will be alright, I talk with much <laughs> uglier creatures. Invaders did not like what he said. They returned to the ship and later enslaved the planet Fuck! Allowed a genocide of an entire planet. Damn it! <laughs> alright. There's so many endings still open. But yeah. I think we ended on a good one. That happens. So that has been a look on all the three chapters of Impossible Quest that are out there so far. I really can recommend it if you're into that sort of thing. They, these text adventures always have great humor. I like that very much. I hope you had a little bit of fun as well. If you did, leave a like and I'd be happy to see you in the next video. Have a nice one. Servus. Oh, fuck you. Okay, I got hacked. I lost days. And I have more days going. Is it more probable that I will be attacked?